And a very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express. My name is Jeannie D. Now, today I have had quite a hump day. It started off very early this morning with a pole dance class. <laughs> For more information on that incredible experience, we're going to have it on the show uh, sometime next week. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. I'm going to be, be practicing all day. <laughs> but today we are looking at innovators who are using technology to help lift communities. First up, we look at an app for your phone that can help diagnose eye problems and is making huge improvements to healthcare in rural areas. Then we speak to Mecha Mahlabela from a company called Educade, which is so, so amazing. It has combined education and arcade games. In fact, we are asking you today on social media, what is your favorite old arcade uh, game. Like, remember those old Pac-Man games? And Tetris was definitely one of my favorites. So what was your favorite arcade game? Or what is your favorite game at the moment? So all you need to do is visit our Facebook page, Afternoon Express, and leave your comment there. Or tweet us at Afternoon Chat using our official hashtag, Afternoon Express. So what's happening in the kitchen, guys? Whoa, welcome to it. Welcome back to your favorite kitchen in the land. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. Recently, I, um, I did a voiceover, and part of the voiceover um, had one particular word in it, and it was, I had to like, I went through great lengths to pronounce it well. And it was tartan. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you did the, it yeah, so well. Tart tartan. That's what we're making today, right? <laughs> That's exactly what we're making. <laughs> so Willie's have these really amazing new flavor burst nectarines. And they are like, they couldn't have picked a better name. Flavor Burst is exactly what they are. You bite into them and they explode with flavor. So we're going to use them today in the Tarte de Tan. Yeah. 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 Want to get straight into it? And it looks gorgeous. And it is so simple to make. Yeah, okay. As long as it's simple. Because you know, when you say it's simple, I go home and I make it. Exactly. And I'm so proud of you because I know you made the salad we made on Monday. Well done. <laughs> so you're going to make this for dinner tonight. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's do it. Real simple. What you're going to do is get a pan on the go. Just turn the heat down a little bit. And you're going to have some butter in there. We're kind of going to make a caramel to start off with. So can you, let me just grab this brown sugar over here. Okay. So brown sugar into butter, that's going to start melting. Okay. There we go. I'm let that do its thing. What else? Then we we'll go straight to these amazing nectarines. So, I mean, if you look at them already, yeah. you can just see the, the skin is beautiful, bursting with color. You know you're really onto a good start right there. Absolutely. So let's get started straight with them. And they're big. And juicy. Mm -hmm. The worst part is when you end up buying fruit and they look so appealing. And so disappointing. And then you get into it. I know. It's like I when know. you buy an avo and you cut through and it's 90% it's just, cooked. I know. Or it's it. all bruised and battered yeah. inside. I know. No, yeah. no. Like we spoke about. Because you can't check the fruit. There's no you way can't. of checking. I mean, you can try to press it, but that's about. Then you're going to make it's... it even worse. I know. So I let's know. just say, and we spoke about yesterday, the fake look that went to private school. Okay, <laughs> these flavor burst fruits are genuinely <laughs> the fruits that went to private school, came in, coming out looking beautiful on the outside, so delicious on the inside. Now, I'm not saying only people that go to private school. Yeah, can, can, I'm about can, to call can, can, you on this. Can, I'm can, about can, to can, check you on oh, this. Oh, man, it's like, live TV. Uh, we can't even take it back. Kim. Be careful. <laughs> Put while you're ahead. Okay, yeah. Um, you just throw that spade away. Stop digging. I, I know some fruit that went to private school that uh, not quite, so good. Uh, not needs so a good. lot to be desired on the inside. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> it's, that's just life, okay? But guaranteed, <laughs> the way that these nectarines look on the outside, beautiful and juicy, that's okay. exactly what they like on the inside. Awesome. And it's so, so, so delicious. You've got to put a little strength in. What I've done is I've kind of cut along the side, a little bit of a twist. And they come straight up like that, okay? Uh -huh. So what you're gonna do is, this is the, like you want them like that. So you gotta get it really, like get, I like using the knife. So cutting around there, da 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 da, and then I twist the, the center out so you have two halves without the pip. You don't want the pip in this at you all. You don't, yeah. No. But so then you've gotta get a caramel. grip on that, on that pip and then like twist yeah, really hard. You get hard. angry at it. You get angry at it, you be like, that guy in traffic, you know, and then you, <laughs> Ah, out. <laughs> and you can end up with two halves. Beautiful, okay? Got to okay, use some emotion okay, when you cook. Okay. Cooking is all about emotion and how it you is, feel. It is, it is about emotion, <laughs> especially with you, Clem. So caramel's looking beautiful <laughs> right now. So I'm going to start adding my holes. So I cut side down. Okay. Because you want to kind of caramelize that beautiful flesh that's inside there. It's already sweet. Now what you're doing is bringing out some more of that natural sweetness. And nice. it's going to start intensifying, which is exactly what you want. Oof, yummy. Can you smile I love already? nectarines. I love, I love nectarines. tarts and I love nectarines. So this combination for me just means I'm in heaven. And it really, like I said earlier, it's really easy. 
that's the hardest part, creating that caramel yeah. and getting the nectarines in there. Mm -hmm. So what I like doing from here is I like letting them sit for about five minutes to start softening slightly. And then a little bit of butter. We got butter in there ready. I just like some more butter. So you're almost like making like a nectarine compote. You kind of are, but you don't want to take it that far. You that want to far, keep the, the yeah. texture. Okay. So just start it like that. Is it a compote or a compote? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go with compote, but compote, compote sounds interesting. <laughs> compote is cool, huh? <laughs> and then I've got, okay, now one of my favorite puff, well, favorite Willie's ingredients is the all butter puff, okay, pastry. puff pastry. Okay, now you get normal puff pastry and you get this guy. This is There's all butter. There's nothing like puff pastry, dude. There's nothing like it. And this is the business. It is so, it puffs up so much, and it is so, there's like a thousand layers in this pastry. <laughs> it is so good and flaky and delicious. So what you're gonna do is? This puff pastry is like an onion. There are so many layers. So many layers. <laughs> what you do is you pop your pastry mm -hmm. over the top, pop this in the oven, 200 degrees, let that puff up beautifully, I go golden that. brown. That, that just looks, Poetic. Like it you is. Could just serve this. Yeah, like you put them to bed. Yeah. <laughs> and you, like you put them in the oven, and they come out looking so amazing. So, once that beautiful pastry is puffed up, golden brown and delicious, what you do? Take it out. Let it sit in, okay. the, in, in the cool, like little area for five minutes. Pop a plate over it. Get all your friends around because now you're showing off. Mm -hmm. And you turn it around. Boom. But you end up with this. All those beautiful really? food. Really? Just like that? All the, it's so easy. But be careful. And obviously, let's be smart. You're going to have a plate that's bigger than your pan. So if any of that hot syrup comes out, it's just going straight into your plate. Right. So all the beautiful fruit that we cooked at the beginning is on top. Beautiful pastry at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to just do a quick little, little mascarpone vanilla cream to go with it. Because it's beautiful, beautiful, sweet. A little bit of the sourness. Mm -hmm. So let's do that real, real quick. Mm -hmm. Pure decadence. It's so, so easy. So you're also going to be making this, and I want you to bring me a picture, please. I'm definitely going to make it. In fact, I should just start bringing you a picture of all the stuff that I make that we make here. You really have to, yeah. and I want all of our viewers to do the same. In our own little gallery. You know, I get so many Speaking of our viewers. Speaking of viewers doing the same, our keyword for this recipe is tart. SMS the keyword to double three six five zero, and you'll get a link to the recipe and the ingredients. Cool. So I've got some of this beautiful vanilla paste. Yes, I love that. Oh. You always use that for your desserts. And that just goes in there. And one last thing, just a little bit of sweetness. I'm gonna come around you. There we go. A little bit of icing sugar. So just sweeten it slightly. Mm -hmm. And all you gotta do is just spoon that on top there, and you're done. Wow, it's just, oh my goodness, you are killing me. I'm not gonna be able to focus for the rest of the show today. I'm just gonna <laughs> be thinking about eating this. It's and gonna I'm be gonna your reward for the end of the show. Slice. I don't care what she says. <laughs> no, she's going to. <laughs> what do you think? It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Well, if you missed any of this and you want to see how it's all done, here's a quick recap. You yeah. don't have to beg me or try and persuade me. I'm definitely You're having, having a it. Bite awesome. of that tart. Mm, awesome. It looks amazing. <laughs> now we've got a segment coming on a little bit later on the show about arcade games and uh, revolutionising arcade games to include it in the education system. And so we asked you on social media, what is your favourite arcade game of all time? Now, what was your? Were you an arcade game kind well, of girl? I, not really, but I did sneak out sometimes because I love playing with the boys. Yeah. And I used to play Pac. Man and that other one that went, oh, oh, all you get, oh, oh, all you get. 
I think it was called Street Fighter Awkward. or something. Awkward. Street, street, street Fighter. Street fighter. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I wasn't much of a street fighter. I'm more of a lover. But, uh, but really, of course you were. <laughs> I really like Tetris. That was my favourite game. But let's have a look and yeah, see what you can play that said. indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario. Oh, my gosh. Chanel, sorry. So Super Mario. Oh, my gosh. Uh, now, that game was pure awesomeness. Really wish I could get it, though. I love Super Mario. And also all the driving games, because I was really good with the driving. Because it was just put, push one button and you were amazing. How's okay. that loving? <laughs> Fifi says, I absolutely love Candy Crush. I'm on level 1,895. Wow. Totally an addict. When I was younger, it was Tetris. Love Tetris. But Candy Crush, if I get one more Candy Crush request on Facebook, I'm going to delete my Facebook account. Okay, no, I'm not. I love Facebook far too much. Uh, Navan says, my favourite was Tetris. I uh, earned so many because I was always broke playing them over and over and over ago and I never got tired. Mongani says, has to be Pac-Man. And then, so, and so thank you for saying that you love Jean. Love you too, Bongani. <laughs> <laughs> then Sybil says, Pac-Man, my kids now in their 40s and 30s are mad about Pac-Man and I can remember how they played it over and over and over and had so many laughs about it. Love yeah, it. Pac-Man's a classic. Yeah. Now, if you're struggling to read our Facebook post on your tiny phone screen, then stay right where you are because after the break, we're looking at an innovative app for your phone that can help diagnose eyesight problems. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs>